Okay, hi, it's me, the tree, um, Earth Mother B, <laughs> hippie healer. Um, that's my desire. My whole goal is to be able to heal everybody. It's so much suffering in the world, so much suffering. And it just, it hurts me so much to see you hurt, to see you suffer, whether you're a human or not human or animals or plants or children. There's just so much suffering going on. It's so sad. It's so horrible. And so I've devoted my life. I want to be the hippie healer. Okay, now I want to tell you about something I have found that is basically, okay, a cure-all. Um, and you might not believe this, but you can do your research. And I want you to actually, everything I'm telling you right now, do your own research and find out about what I'm telling you because... Um, this what I found is something that can cure this seems to be able to cure just about every illness there is or disease or infection um, and the thing about this is though is if it's not taken properly or if it's used without being diluted or um, if it's drinking straight if you do it straight without diluting it with water or it's not done by the proper dosage it can make you very very sick or kill you okay but it's this it's called hydrogen peroxide Okay, this is um, hydrogen peroxide. It's the food grade, the food quality. This is not the hydrogen peroxide that you get in the stores. That's like 3% hydrogen peroxide that you use on cuts and stuff. This is for internal use. And it's 35% H2O food grade peroxide. And it's, this is 16 fluid ounces. Charlie, stop it. And this costs $14.99 for this. Okay, now this is food grade. And if you don't use it properly, it can make you very sick or kill you. Um, and when you use it without being diluted, like for instance, um, I discoloration, you know, um, age marks or discoloration of the skin, spots or whatever. I started to get some around my mouth. I call it a mustache. My mustache it ain't a mustache. And I've been using the peroxide on it without being diluted straight just put a little bit on a cotton ball and right here and stuff but it burns like crazy it hurts for like a minute or two i mean it hurts burns and it causes like blisters and white bleaching of the skin like a discoloration for about 45 minutes but it goes away and the burns it doesn't stay burned or blistered or boiled no scabs or nothing like that it just hurts really bad for a few minutes and it ble blisters and bleaches your skin for about 45 minutes and after that your skin will be back to normal again um but for internal use, okay, like I'm telling you again, I mean, most of the doctors don't know about this or they'll tell you no, because most of the doctors don't know anything about anything except with giving you pills, <laughs> you know, but as far as, you know, this being true or, or whatever, do your own research. Do your own research on this, okay, because... I can't be held responsible for anybody that might be hurt off of this because this is just information I'm getting off of my research. But I want you to know that I've been using it. My dogs, okay. Um, it kills all bacteria and germs. Like right now I have uh, one fluid ounce in uh, five fluid ounces right here. Okay, so when you wash your hands or when you have to go to the bathroom or something, you can spray it. Sanitizes your hands after your pets go to the bathroom. You can spray it on there. This is diluted now. Don't do it straight or it will burn like crazy and it could kill you. Kill you if you drink it without diluting it. If you don't do it properly, okay, I'm telling you, it's very important. And the proper usage, which um, I'll show you, is drops, just a few drops, like, you know, drops, not, I mean, just, just a few drops. It's not that much, but I'll tell you about the, the doses. And plus, you know, for each thing that you want to use this for, you want to, do your own research on it. If you don't have a computer or an internet or whatever, find somebody that does or go to a health food store and ask them for information on it. They've got literature about this. But um, it cures ear, you know, your ears, ear infections, earwax. You um, can use it um, in your mouth for um, bad breath or for toothpaste or for sore throats. Um, spray, spray it in your nose, diluted for nasal congestion or sinuses or bronchitis problems. Let me tell you just some of the uh, some of the things that are, let me tell you a little bit more about the hydrogen peroxide here. Uh, 
Okay, hydrogen peroxide must be present for our immune system to function properly. The cells in the body that fight infection, the class of white blood cells known as granulocytes, produce hydrogen peroxide as a first line of defense against harmful parasites, bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Hydrogen peroxide is also needed for the metabolism and pro of protein carbohydrates, fats, minerals, and vitamins. It is a byproduct of cell metabolism that is actively broken down by peroxidase, a hormonal regulator and a necessary part of the body's production of estrogen, progesterone, and thyroxine. And if that weren't enough, hydrogen peroxide is also involved in the regulation of blood sugar and the production of energy in the blood cells. Uh, hydrogen peroxide is also found in the animal kingdom and is involved in many of our body's natural processes. As an oxygenator, it is able to deliver small quantities of oxygen to the blood and other vital systems throughout the body. Hydrogen peroxide does not oxygenate the body merely by producing mod modest amounts of oxygen. However, it has an extraordinary capacity to stimulate oxidative enzymes, which have the ability to change the chemical component of other substances like viruses and bacteria without being changed themselves. Rather than providing more oxygen to the cells, the presence of hydrogen peroxide enhances the natural cellular oxidative process, which increases the body's ability to use what oxygen is available. And cancer, okay, is... Um, Basically, there's not enough oxygen. Our oxygen in our air that we breathe is crap. Not having enough oxygen in our bloodstream is what causes cancer and tumors and all kinds of diseases. Um, uh, now, when you take this internally, it, some people might experience upset stomachs. Um, but during the program, it's not uncommon to experience what is known as a healing crisis. As dead bacteria and toxins are released from your body, it may temporarily exceed your capacity to eliminate them quickly enough. In some individuals, this overload may cause fatigue, diarrhea, headaches, skin eruptions, cold or flu-like symptoms, and or nausea. Do not discontinue using the peroxide or stop this cleansing. By continuous program, the toxins will clear in the body sooner than this healing the toxins will clear the body sooner, and this healing crisis will pass rather quickly. Now, there are different grades of hydrogen peroxide. A 3.5 pharmaceutical grade is the grade sold at your local store. This is not recommended for internal use. This contains an assortment of stabilizers which should not be ingested. Um, the 6% is beautician grade, and this is used in body shots for hair color. It's not re recommend. Do not use it internally. The 30% regent grade is used for various scientific experimentations and also contains stabilizers, and it is not for internal use. The 30 to 32% is the electronic grade, and this is used to clean electronic parts and not for internal use. The 35%, which is what I got right here, which is the um, food grade, this is used, food grade H2O2 is recommended for internal use. This is used in the production of foods like cheese, eggs, and wheat containing products, and is also sprayed on the foil lining of aseptic packages containing fruit juices and milk products, and also can be diluted with distilled water to make 3% uh, 6% H2O2. Um, this is also considered a hazardous material and can only be shipped in separate cartons from licensed manufacturing facilities. Each container must be checked and approved by the FDA. Once it has been diluted to 3% or 6%, it is at a heat stable room temperature. Okay, but this stuff right here, the 35% food grade, you want to keep refrigerated, okay? Uh, the 90% hydrogen peroxide is used for rocket fuel uh, by NASA. Only food grade, which is a 35% hydrogen peroxide made with distilled, distilled water, always diluting it to drink it or use it internally or in the spray bottles to disinfect, to sanitize everything. Everything, sinks, you know, toilets, your hands, your animals' bottoms after they go to the bathroom, our own um, genitals, what, to keep it clean, um, just everything. Litter boxes, it's amazing the things that can get blood stains of the... Uh, 
uh, hospitals and stuff use it and emergent or the ambulances use it to pour on blood stains to get blood stains out. Um, um, any concentration over 6% can cause neurological reactions and damage to the upper geointestinal tract. There have been two known fatalities in children who ingested 27% and 40% concentrations of H2O. A 26-month-old female swallowed one mouthful of 35% H2O. This stuff. That means without being diluted. She immediately began vomiting. Ah. She, oh, sorry about that. Ugh. Sorry. She immediately began vomiting. Ugh. I lost my place here. I lost my place here. <laughs> she, okay, she immediately began vomiting and followed by fainting and respiratory arrest. Fortunately, she was under emergency medical room care and she experienced erosion and bleeding of the stomach and the spots, the esophagus. She survived the inc incident where she was re-examined 12 days later. The hairy areas involved had healed. But like I'm telling you right now, it's very important that this using this hydrogen peroxide, you do not want to take it internally without being diluted. And I have some information here. Now just wait till you see what it cures, okay? Like uh, the first day, um, let me see. Five ounces of distilled water, five ounces with three drops. It's three drops, not drop or fools, but drops. Okay, three times a day. And then the second day, use 12 drops, which is four drops three times a day. The third, this is just one method of the cleansing. Um, uh, take on an empty stomach an hour before the meal and at least three hours after a meal. Um, uh, skin eruptions, nausea, sleeplessness, unusual fatigue, diarrhea, colds in head and chest, ear infections, boils, or other methods the body uses sometimes to emit toxins from your body um the toxin these toxins are rooted out by the use of hydrogen peroxide so temporary feeling sick can happen just from killing all the germs and worms and parasites in your body um uh, Foodborne illnesses from fruits, vegetables, meats, fish, and poultry due to bacteria, fungus, and parasites are a little publicized problem. Are a little publicized problem. Um, so, like, you can spray this stuff on your food, on your vegetables, on your salads. It can be used in the bath. It can be used as a douche. It can be used as an enema, a foot relaxer, in the shower, a facial, mouthwash, nasal spray, toothpaste, denture soap, deodorant. Um, for your pets, add um, one fluid ounce to one gallon of drinking water. Um, deodorizes your pet when it's sprayed by a, stu a skunk, or you can diluted, diluted. You can spray on your, you know, because it it doesn't taste bad. See, look, you can't taste it. It doesn't burn your skin, but if you use it straight, it will cause the blisters and the bleaching of the skin. Um, but it's tasteless. If you know if you dilute it, my dog has been drinking it in their water and um, baby guy's tumors are shrinking and his health is clearing up great. It's an internal parasite, parasite cleanse. It can also be a vaporizer, a vegetable soak, leftover tossed salads, marinades, kitchen cleaners, fresheners, disinfectant, in the dishwasher, in the laundry for mold, 
insect spray, house and garden plants for growth, crop spray, fungus mildew control for roses and vegetables, hot tubs, seeds sprouting, um, and wait more, here's more of what it does. Uh, 